1.3, we cannot answer a question like this without a ruler. Please do make sure um, that you have your ruler with you. So this is maps and plans. Below is a map of Northwest showing destination towns um, slash cities and interleading roads with it. So we've got the keys here on the side. We always have the keys and we are told that N is for national roads. So if you have like your N1, your N2, those are national roads. So they run all the way through. And then you've got our heading there that says map of Northwest showing national roads and leading cities. So we've got Francis Town and so on. And that's the whole of Northwest basically. Okay. We've got a type of, of uh, scale over there very important for us to know our scales um, what we do need to know about our scales when it comes to maps and plans is that we've got a number scale and we have a bar scale a number scale is normally written in ratio form and then a bar scale is given as a bar we can see with this particular question that we are given a bar scale okay so it means that somewhere somehow when we do our calculations we're going to need to convert this bar scale to a number scale in order for us to be able to use it let's look at the questions um, that we are given so another nice thing that we are given there um, is the directions. So you need to know that if your north is up here, Norman eats sour worms. Okay, that's how I would do it. So we know already um, that that's going to be west, that's going to be east. East is where the sun rises um, and then west is where the sun sets. Identify the type of scale used in this map already. Can you see already? So this is a bar scale. This is definitely a bar scale. Name the province that lies east of the northwest. Let's go see. So we have already, I said to you, that if I've got my north here, my east is going to be on this side. If this is the northwest, they are asking for the province that's on this side. There. We've got the free state. So the free state um, is going to be on that side. However, um, we need to be very careful because the free state is within the south of it. Can you see? But if we, we look more towards the middle of it, we are actually faced with Gauteng as well. So we need to be careful about having the free state there and Gauteng there. So the free state is more towards southeast. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you. It's more towards southeast. And then if we center our map, Gauteng is actually right next to um, what, what we are looking for over there. So Gauteng is going to be the province that's there. Please just be careful with this because we can have southeast, we can have northeast, then we can have just east. So Gauteng is going to be um, there as well. I've already made quite a lot of marks on my map, which is fine. Identify the national roads passing through Freiburg. So we have to go and look for Freiburg. If we look for Freiburg, um, here's Freiburg. Meaning that is Freiburg. And if that is Freiburg, it means that we've got two um, national roads which is the N14 and the N17 so we've got two national roads um, that are passing through there there N17 N14 and a nice fun fact that you should know is that N14 doesn't end there it actually continues that's all N14 that's all N14 all the way to Pretoria okay so if you are moving um, from Pretoria and you're going to move southwest it's going to take you right into Freiburg and all the way into the northern cape so that's like a fun fact that you should remember when using maps um, and plans so we said that it's going to be the n14 and the n17 remember n stands for national roads okay n14 n17 write down the number of destination towns or cities 
that are shown in the map. So we need to be able to count all of the destination towns or the cities shown in the map. Okay, I'm going to just clear my map a bit because I have been working with it quite a bit. Um, let's go see as well um, what the key says. Here's my key over here. My key says that they're going to be covered by a rectangle. Do you see? So my key says everything that is covered in a rectangle is a destination town or city. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't have any more. Do you see? Because they need to be covered by the rectangle. So that's seven. That's two marks. Free. Free, free marks. Here is now... Okay, it's not that difficult because I'm just being asked to measure. It says measure in millimeters. Please, ne? I'm going to show you using your ruler. So if I'm using my ruler, this is my ruler. Okay. Centimeters are up here. These are centimeters. And these are my millimeters. So your ruler even tells you millimeters. So just be careful um, in terms of that. So it says the direct distance as the crow flies. So crow flies just means the top of it. Um, from Bloom Wharf to Lichtenberg. Also, I just want you to be careful um, about a question like this. So mine is going to give me a different uh, millimeter because I am using um, a different screen to your question paper. So just be careful in terms of that. Your question paper um, will give you a different one, but I'm going to show you how to do it um, when we are using the ruler. So it says from Bloomhoff. Um, I think to Lichen. Let's just check it again. To Lichenberg. So Blumhoff to Lichenberg. Okay. So here's Blumhoff here. And here's Lichenberg over there. So I'm going to take my ruler in millimeters. And I'm going to put my ruler there. And I'm going to measure it all the way in millimeters to there. So when I'm using the screen that I am using, it's actually giving me 90 millimeters. It's important for you to use the context that you are given. Also, um, I'm just going to tell you something really, really quickly here in terms of that. So where I am, it's giving me 90 millimeters, but because you are using a different paper, um, so because you are using a different paper, it's going to give you a different measurement. So what I'll do is that I'm going to show you using a question paper. But before I do that with the question paper as well, I want you to understand that there's a leeway, like a bit of leeway in terms of uh, measurements because someone else could find 91. I found 90. Someone else could find 89. As long as it's at least one or two off, it's not allowed to be two off. Okay. Let's use the question paper because I think maybe with the question paper, um, it's going to make more sense. So I've got my question paper and I'm going to now use my ruler. So if I am using my ruler and I want millimeters, I'm going to move from Bloomhoff, which is over here, going all the way... Um, there we go. Okay, so all the way there. And that gives you 39 millimeters. So we're going to use 39 millimeters so that we are able to have the same answers. So it gives me 39 millimeters. Okay, that gives me my two marks. Someone else could have gotten 40. What I also want to say to you, don't force it to be a round number. Don't force it to be a round number because some people want to go and force it to be 40. If it says 39, write 39. If it says 38, write 38. 
don't force it to be a round number. And that was question one. That was question one. Maps and plans. Remember that paper two has maps and plans, maps and plans, measurement, measurement, and a bit of probability.